What's going on guys, Rob from Heroes Avenue, and I'm not sure if this is going to be the official title when it's all said and done, but if it is, I dig it. So here's a clip of Tom Holland revealing the next uh, name for the next uh, Spider-Man movie. What's up, it's uh, Tom Holland here. I am at the Ace Seattle Comic Con, having a great time, meeting everyone, it's going really well. Um, I wanted to apologize because there's no real revelations coming out this weekend about Spider-Man 2. I don't know much about it. Um, I'm a little confused because I died, so I don't really know how it all comes into play. But I do know is I got the new script. I'm super excited to read it, and it's going to be great. So yeah, Spider-Man 2, let's do this. So there it is, Spider-Man Far From Home. I, I kind of dig the title, you know, because we do know this next Spider-Man movie is going to be filming in different locations, and it's going to take place not just in New York City. So we're going to see Spider-Man venture out into the world, and I think... It's kind of a fitting theme, and Kevin Feige did, uh, you know, he's doing the press rounds for Ant-Man right now, and he's being asked a bunch of questions, um, and he did uh, address this title, so I'll go ahead and read off this. Uh, this is from an article on Heroic Hollywood. Well, I mean, sure, let the speculation begin. That's always fun. We like the title, of course, because it ties into Homecoming. Not just keeping that word going, which we like, and we like it more than Homecoming 2, but that notion of home is a word that has dual meanings. We'd like to continue with this Marvel Cinematic Universe version of Spider-Man. So far from home has multiple meanings. There you have it. It's going to have multiple meanings and it's probably going to be, it's definitely going to be a theme of uh, this movie. And we do know another theme of this movie is going to be maturity. A designer of a previous costume uh, in Homecoming who's not going to be working on this movie, but she recently revealed that Spider-Man will be getting a brand new suit in in uh, Far From Home. And uh, she revealed that it's going to represent uh, Peter maturing, uh, and that's going to be a theme that plays out through the movie. Even though we haven't seen so much of kid Peter Parker yet, we got him in two movies, or two recent movies, um, I am, and I'm excited about the themes of a maturity. You know, obviously the first film felt like a John Hughes, you know, 80s coming of age movie. And um, I'm excited to further explore that theme of coming of age and maturing because it's one of those themes that all of us, it's one of those things that all of us have gone through. Um, I mean, maybe some of you guys right now are going through it in high school, but, you know, I remember, you know, going through high school and having to deal with some of the things that Peter's going to be having to deal with soon. Obviously, I'm not a superhero, but um, I, I would like to see a superhero have to deal with that. And, um, you know, really at the heart of it, it's really the characters and the stories that matter most. What I'm even more excited for is the prospect of a new villain in Mysterio, someone we have not seen uh, on the on the big screen yet. And um, a lot of reports have been going around that Jake Gyllenhaal, tremendous actor, um, if you haven't seen him in Nightcrawler, please check that movie out. Check him out in Donnie Darko. That's a pretty twisted one. It's, um, you know, those are two pretty twisted movies, just a heads up, but incredible actor obviously he's been in uh southpaw uh broke back mountain he's been in a ton of movies uh jake gyllenhaal is a tremendous actor and i'm excited for him to potentially play a mysterio role you know obviously he was up for or a lot of rumors saying he was up for batman but who knows what's going on with that and uh, a lot of rumors said that he had signed on to play mysterio but kevin feige recently doing the press tour again for Ant-Man, uh, he, he let us know that it's not officially set in stone yet. There's still things that are being worked out. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to uh, another potential great villain that we have not seen on screen yet because Michael Keaton in Spider-Man Homecoming absolutely killed it. Michael Keaton, another tremendous actor. And it looks like Marvel is really starting to step up their villains, um, going after A-list actors and talent, not just A-list actors, but A-list talent to kind of shepherd their, their new villains uh, in, 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 the, in the next coming movies. Obviously, Thanos, Josh Brolin did incredible. And um, speaking of that, I know I'm kind of ranting here, but Going into uh, doing the press tours, you know, uh, Kevin Feige also did reveal that they are not going to be um, promoting any of the uh, Avengers who, who spoiler, spoiler alert, I'm going to say right now, spoiler, click off the video right now, but they're not going to be promoting any of the Avengers who died in the upcoming uh, promotional promotion leading up to Avengers 4. And that's really curious because... Spider-Man 2 is set to drop two months after Avengers 4, and if, if Spider-Man died in Avengers Infinity War, and which we know 
he died, um, we know he's coming back, but if he died, how are they going to prom um, ramp up promotion for Spider-Man Far From Home if they're not going to promote him at all in the lead up to Infinity War? Um, it's going to be a fun little, you know, it's going to be a fun little uh, press tour they do. It'll be really interesting, and I'm sure they're going to pull it off really well, but the, the reason I thought it was interesting is because we saw these parallels in Justice League when, when they didn't promote Superman in the lead up to Justice League, not until it was too late at least, not until after the movie released did they start promoting Superman and we all know how much of a stake that is now looking back on things. So obviously um, hindsight is 2020. so I just, I'm wondering what you guys think. Do you think not promoting any of the dead characters who died in Infinity War leading up to Avengers 4 may potentially hurt the movie like it did with Justice League and Superman? Um, because you know, I'm Marvel can as so far Marvel can do no wrong, but I'm just really wondering if it'll hurt because you know if you were in some of the theater I saw Avengers Infinity War three times in theaters and there were definitely some kids crying, definitely some kids traumatized about uh, seeing their favorite heroes die on big screen and a lot of them you had to really I saw parents having to explain to their children like no they're gonna be all right they'll be back they're not dead so. Who knows if they're actually not dead or what's going on with them, but think people like Black Panther, you know, who just had the incredible success uh, that, it, that it had in the theaters, he's not going to be promoted in the, the lead up to Avengers 4, so that's incredibly interesting. Uh, I'm really excited for all the things that the Marvel Universe obviously has come in. They can do no wrong so far, and I'm totally hyped for Ant-Man. Uh, hyped for all the Spider-Man news, and I'm looking forward to everything that's coming along with Captain Marvel um, in the future. Let me know what you guys think about the Spider-Man title in the comments below. Let me know if you think not promoting the dead characters from Infinity War in the Avengers 4 buildup is going to hurt the movie. Let me know what you think about those two things in the comment below. Give this video a like if you can. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and follow us at Heroes Avenue on Instagram. Catch you guys later. Peace.